Final solution. As you can see, I have selected the aerodynamic design as my final solution, working on the basic principle of two opposite spinning wheels to eject the ball. We spoke about earlier using the G-clamp, which is demonstrated here. We also have the means of releasing the ball periodically with the use of the rotating disc. This disc is located above in this area here. And this ball container is located above the disc. A ball is released onto this surface of the disc and falls through the hole and into the compartment here. The wheels catch the ball and eject it out. On the ball container, we have an LDR at one side and an LED at the other side. When the balls empty out of the container, the light from the LED is allowed to cross over to the LDR, therefore turning on the buzzer. Criteria for selection of solution. First of all, let's look at what it is. It is the reasons or judgments you used to choose your final design. You are to focus on two areas, the individual parts of the project, so outline reasons why you chose each of the design part compared to the other design solutions you found, and likewise for the entire project itself. Pause the video if you wish to read in more detail. Criteria for selection of solution. Writing this into your brief as a document. First of all, let me scroll down just to show you the basic layout of it. The headings I have used are parts of the actual project itself and the chosen solution for each. Basically, you just compare it to the other solutions you found and why you chose it. So for the first one, rationale for selection of the G-clamp design to mount to the project. I chose the G-clamp design because it is relatively simple, it can be unmounted and remounted with ease, and it causes little or no damage to the table. I chose aluminium as the material because it is light, malleable, relatively strong. Please pause this video at any time if you wish to read in more detail. Rationale for selection of the rotating disc mechanism as a means of releasing the ball periodically. I chose this over the servo mechanism because the servo is a bought-in electronic solution, so there is possibility that I could lose marks. The disc mechanism is not bought-in and therefore will require my own individual input. I chose this over the rotating barrel because, if you remember, the rotating barrel was listed in the morphological force analysis technique. I chose this over the barrel because the barrel mechanism would look very bulky and awkward. The disc would look a lot sleeker to incorporate in my aerodynamic design. And the disc is much more achievable and is therefore a better design solution. Rationale for selection of the opposite spinning wheels. I chose this method over the mouse trap mechanism because the mouse trap mechanism is not accurate. There is a possibility the balls may become dented and the speed at which the balls are ejected can be varied using the wheel method. I chose this method over the spinning bat because the balls become dented and there is a lot of vibration. Please pause at any time. The material, you list why you use the material, such as Perspex, because it is light and good for balance. Rationale for selection of the buzzer as an electronic indicator. I believe this is a clever and reliable way signalling that the ball is empty. I chose the buzzer over the LCD screen indicator because it gives a stronger, more definite indication to the player. And then I explained how it is used. Rationale for selection of the cube shaped ball container. You then list the reason you chose it because it will incorporate my electronic indicator better and the balls can be loaded quickly and the balls can flow out of it easily. And lastly, 
The rationale for selection of the aerodynamic shape or design. This is the overall project. I chose it because it contains the mechanisms and circuits safely. Safety first. It contains all of the mechanisms neatly while being aesthetically pleasing. It is a unique design compared to others on the market or for in your case others in your class and all components can be clearly seen without dismantling.